you know originally i was gonna have orissa gameplay in the background but when i sat down to play the character i realized you know what i already took my sleeping pills for the day and i don't need another visual stimulus that does the same thing so instead what i decided to do was get you guys actual fun gameplay footage of actual fun characters in the background for you to enjoy and we can rant about orissa all right listen up this video is gonna be dirty it is gonna be disgusting it is gonna be brutal we're sitting down together today to talk about orissa get your phone cases out because it's time to discuss and write in the comments how are we back in an orissa meta how are we going through this again when we've discussed as a community if there's one thing that we all agree upon is that orissa metas are the worst how are we back here again how do they not learn what their community likes and dislikes where and why do they keep buffing her over and over and over again every patch i think if you actually go back and watch through my patch notes every time there's an orissa micro buff that just slides its way in where they're like oh uh, guys guys orissa is not being played right now her win rate's kind of bad but that's exactly the point that's that's what the community as a whole wants it, they, again we all as a community majority of us i'm sure there's like that one guy 10 percent of a community that probably really likes orissa because for some reason they like to watch paint dry and the physical manifestation of it in the video game is orissa so they kind of want to experience that hand on hand on keyboard whatever you want to say but regardless i digress my point is is as a community we hate orissa orissa is one of the most uninteractive characters in the game we go from diva finally getting toned down still strong not completely out the meta just yet but when diva is not being played and we're about to enter a little bit more of a variety state of tech somehow some way this fat cow found her way back in the game and i'm sick and tired of seeing her yesterday i was trying to get in some new friends into the game some people from work some people i know and i'm sitting down and they're forced to play against orissa that's their first experience in overwatch and they're losing their mind they're like dude this character just it doesn't feel like i can do anything to her these are the first things i'm hearing from people that i'm bringing into the game then i go play i go and do some scrims and in scrims in certain brawl maps where we're trying to run some the orissa excuse me not orissa comes god forbid i will never commit that sin allah himself will send me to hell if i ever did something like that no instead we made the amazing decision to play some reinhardt on king's row and what was our screaming opponent playing they were playing some orissa comp and that's where that realization hit me oh my god orissa's coming back she's in quick play she's in scrims so then i made the grand boys mistake of clicking ranked because i was like oh you know what maybe ranked isn't that bad and that was my second mistake of thinking ranked couldn't be that bad and then i went into ranked and it was orissa's everywhere because god forbid tank players have to put in a slight amount of effort and look for an easy way out almost every season okay 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 I, that's a joke that's a joke that's a joke that's a joke don't take it so seriously right that was a little, little jab that that particularly goes out to that one tank who threw my game on stream the other day you know who you are i hate you uninstall anyways hater energy is gonna continue throughout this video because that's how orissa makes me feel with the little rants and everything aside it is time to talk about the change history of how orissa got here 30th april 2024 is where orissa got her big nerves fortify's duration was reduced from 4.5 to 3.5 orissa was moving 20 percent slower and javelin spin got toned down from seven to nine seconds so this is how orissa's power was stripped away from her and this was desperately needed back then i still remember this like it was yesterday because orissa was impossible to contest even zarya was having a harder time against her and now let's look at what happened look at your screen right now this is how you turn a cow into a buffalo and then from a buffalo into a triceratops that can run you over and there's nothing you can do about it because the only person going extinct in the lobby is you javelin spin from nine to eight seconds fortify from 3.5 to 4 seconds okay you know what that's kind of enough let's not talk about that so energy javelins impact damage goes up from 60 to 80 and she never got her fall off thing changed on her weapon either so her overall dps has gone up then fortifies movement speed goes down oh, how are we here and then this is just orissa's changes by herself we have to consider the armor changes the tanky changes all the other surrounding environment changes that came through characters that were good against orissa have kind of drop down in power even picking zarya into orissa isn't necessarily a guarantee that you might actually find value with the zarya against orissa right now with the way the new armor is working at least in my opinion and you can disagree with that that's perfectly fine we all play at different elos but over here right now at masters to gm we are 100 running in to a lot of orissa and maybe that's just an eu middle eastern thing maybe that's just one of the things that i'm running into but i've been seeing a lot of people starting to complain i've been seeing a lot of other content creators running into a lot of orissa and man like going from diva to orissa 
it's like going from bad to worse and you're just like why can't we just have a nice meta in this game where healthy interactive characters are what are at the top and this is why i've always said you can never find a perfect balance in overwatch and that is fine what you need to understand it is which heroes are the most interactive which heroes are the most fair from the way that they approach the game which heroes are made on a good skill to reward curve is the reward meeting the curve of the person learning the character are they beginning to understand and derive the value that they're supposed to is that happening and one of the characters that i personally feel that this does just does not happen on is orissa now why is that the case orissa is literally the most brain dead press a button character in this video game's history yes i will even go as far as to defend mercy i will even go as far as to defend Mor whoa hold on hold on hold on hold on back it up back it up back it up that's my rage talking hold on maybe moria is a little bit more brain dead okay i joke i joke okay listen regardless orissa is an extremely boring character she gets way too much value for when she starts to work and other things have been nerfed and cannot deal with their problem with orissa has always been she's got a terrible design in fortify and a lot of counterplay that should work against her just isn't there why does fortify not have a headshot like we should be able to headshot her because they've already even implemented a headshot damage reduction yet we're still not allowed to headshot orissa armor is stronger than ever before and that means orissa is stronger than ever before if you thought 13th april orissa was bad welcome to the new tanky era orissa and she's even worse you know unless you have certain characters on your team and you're praying to god that the comp works and that's kind of the problem with orissa right now she can be incredibly frustrating to play against her pain points are always the same she feels extremely unintuitive to play against she feels extremely boring to play because your playstyle is so one-dimensional and basic you really don't have to put in any effort or any like comparatively to other tanks realistically like i cannot think of any other tank that you can lock in turn your brain off and get infinite value than orissa and that's just because the character is just designed in this way where when you press a button you get so much value if you press e you just negate projectiles and bullets you press shift and now you you you're you're just god of war you are just unstoppable you're unkillable you're walking over everybody you like kratos tearing people limb from limb shoving your up somebody's ass then so they don't see the sun again like what are you supposed to do against this character all right all right so i'm over exaggerating everything for entertainment purposes let's talk seriously about orissa on a more serious note get this character out of the meta i've been really kind to when it comes to actual suggestions and and when it comes to perhaps giving the balance team a little bit more leeway than i should but this is the third time third time in overwatch 2's life we've circled around here so i've come to the delusional conclusion that there's only two things that could be the case they really are purposefully cycling characters in and out because they're completely lost they don't know how to make tank fun so it's legitimately just we pick who's gonna be the overpowered tank for a season or two or something like that or maybe even like two tanks nowadays and then we're gonna cycle them out and we're gonna cycle other two in and then we're gonna cycle them out and we're gonna cycle other two in and it just goes on and on that's my delusional th thought number one my delusional thought number two is perhaps orissa's stats were kind of bad and they again because they're always always balancing around data always balancing around numbers how many times do we need to go down this path how many times do i have to explain i was the only only content creator all the way back when genji got his first nerves i was screaming into my mic that you cannot use just data alone as a metric that is this character balance data does not always show everything can it give you a rough idea of what's going on yes but just because orissa has a low win rate that doesn't mean you necessarily buff her because you don't understand what's going on in the game and the current state why was orissa's uh, uh win rate on the lower end perhaps it's the state of the meta perhaps it's the state of some other characters that are strong and uh, perhaps that's how we want the game to be is that orissa should work in low elo we shouldn't be trying to balance her or averaging her win rate out to the point where she can perform well in mid to high ranks because right now she's beginning to even appear in some pro play games she's beginning to appear in high level gameplay in in, in even ladder and it's getting real tiring so blizzard my little rant aside of course i put on a character do it for the sake of entertainment make people enjoy the content it's time to get orissa 
out of here again for the love of god i actually have this massive anxiety that i think oris is about to get one more micro buff in the next season because i personally think they don't think oris is good enough even now it's just it's just this weird feeling i have in my chest man it's it's scaring me anyways i want to hear what you guys think about orissa down below are you running into a lot of orissa because right now the tank meta most effective tactic available most effective tank available right now really feels like a circle of either diva or orissa diva or orissa diva or orissa anytime you try to get a little bit intuitive anytime you try to get creative anytime you try to get a little bit more like initiative based well <laughs> Uh, you're gonna have a rough time that's all i can say anyways everybody that's it for this video if you enjoy this type of content you want more please hit like subscribe and drop a comment about how much you dislike or maybe perhaps you're one of the few that actually likes orissa explain why because i just don't see the appeal in this character at all with that being said see you in the next one